KSM show. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've enjoyed uh, Afi Antonio's nice story, and I hope you all are giving up to give us support. But coming up next, uh, this lady is, she's a dynamite, you know. I love it when journalists are actually the fourth estate and not the fourth arm of government. You know, journalists, we're supposed to sit back and, and give the government pressure to do the right thing, and this lady has been doing it. Put your hands together, show some love for Araba Kumsi! And a welcome to the show! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good thank to you. have you here. Great to be here, great to be here. Finally, we worked together at Metro once, yes. right? This was more than, what, 15 years ago? Yeah, or more. More than 10 years ago, at yeah. least. Yeah, you were a little yes. girl, I remember. I was like this. Everybody keeps reminding me <laughs> that I've found a were. few pounds, yes, <laughs> since then. Nice, nice. Have you ever met Afi? No, but I've heard her inspiring story. Yeah. I think it's so awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's probably going to put you on yeah. some multimedia news channels yeah. soon. To talk about. <laughs> Definitely. Emma, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Good to be here again. How has it been? I mean, your trip, your, your, your journey in journalism. You, had, you started with the, dis, the dispatch, right? Yes, I started at the dispatch. It's, been, it's not been a meteoric rise, but it's been a gradual, gradual. rise. Yes. But, but rise all the same. All the same, yes, <laughs> true. And uh, I'm grateful for the journey. But yes, like you said, I started off at um, Daily Dispatch. And that was because, you know... Um, I had written my O levels and my maths, I didn't do well in maths, and my dad wanted me to reset. Mm. And so, rather than just, you know, whiling away the time at home, he says, Why don't you do an internship somewhere, mm. you know, to while away the time? And I loved reading. And uh, he had always told me that when I was younger and he's reading the newspaper, I come and sit by him. I don't know what he's reading, oh, really? but I read along anyway. So, wow. I guess it was in my genes. You know, wow. I was bound to so you're be. doing this well review with your dad way, <laughs> <laughs> way back, way yes, back, exactly. I see. So whilst I was uh, resitting um, for my maths, and I, I came across the dispatch. Uh, I had a friend who knew Uncle Ben, okay. who was the editor of okay. the dispatch, okay. and he said, "Okay, yeah, come, come, come over, and you know." Uh, enjoy the time whilst you're here. Mm -hmm. So I came over and uh, I haven't, you know, stopped since. Wow. <laughs> so he gave you your first break? He gave me my first break. Okay. I cut my journalism teeth at the Daily Dispatch. At the Daily Dispatch. Yes. Wow. Yes. And were you assigned to, because you were doing something for the National Reconciliation, yes. was what you were assigned to? I was assigned to the National Reconciliation Commission and that was a big thing at the time. And I thought, at the time I was really young and so, you know, it was daunting but it was exciting because you know i was full of passion for the job and so i you remember all those people who came before the commission yep. and the stories that they were yep. telling yeah i mean it uh, was it was quite a moment in our history quite a moment yes. and you were covering it i was covering it for the daily dispatch mm. i guess uncle ben had a lot of confidence in my writing skills mm. so you know and i got the chance to see a lot of people i had heard about mm. you know my dad and my you know uncles had told me about and so like who who did you well i mean that was the first time i've seen uh, president rawlings mm. in person that was your first time that was my first really? time seeing him in person mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. i mean i always see him on television yeah but when he came to the commission you know, there was so much commotion. Yes. And but I managed to get close enough, even though you know his security handlers pushed yeah. me away. Yeah. I managed to get close enough to want to ask him a question. He didn't hear though, because there was so much noise. Mm, what do you but ask yeah, him? Was, <laughs> I asked him. So, um, does he regret all that he did, or all that they say he they did? Say he but did. he didn't hear me, so he oh. clearly couldn't answer. Okay. You know, yeah. But okay. it was it was okay. very interesting. Wow. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the National Reconciliation and then after that? Well, I mean, after that, I, uh, I, I was doing general reporting, mm -hmm. uh, yes, but from there I transitioned to TV. So mm -hmm. my first job was newspaper, Daily Dispatch. And then, you know, whilst I was there, because of my work at the National um, Reconciliation. Reconciliation Hearings, yes, I, I got an offer from Joy FM at the time, you know, to, to come over. But... I was reluctant because, you know, I heard about Joy FM, the, <laughs> the heavy big names. Yes, <laughs> I thought I would disappear in that, you know, sea of big names. So I decided not to take up the offer and stay in my little corner and learn what I had to learn, mm. you know, and, and grow gradually. But, you know, 
I found my way back at yeah. Joy FM. I'm still there today. <laughs> Uh, you, you, you're a news editor for I am, I am the entire multimedia editor. or just for Joy News? Or what no, is it's just for Joy News. You, okay. you know, we have different departments. Mm -hmm. So for the news department, um, I'm a news editor for radio and television. Mm -hmm. But mainly, um, I lead a team in the morning mm -hmm. and then I produce the midday news mm -hmm. on Joy FM mm -hmm. on radio mm -hmm. as well. And what? I anchor, um, of course, uh, TV news as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. <laughs> now... So the stuff you do, you know, in our parts of the world where it is just how we are, mm -hmm. afraid to talk, afraid to maybe question government, afraid to hit authority, you, you just address truths mm -hmm. very factually, mm -hmm. but I don't think people are comfortable with some of the things you do, right? I don't think they are. And, um, you know, this, I didn't used to do this before because I felt you know what, you report the news and, you know, you leave it there. If government decides to take it up and act on it, fine. But over time, increasingly, it's, it's, it's become difficult to just sit aloof and not mm. do nothing, mm. do anything. And so I think it's important to just speak out because I think at a point, that is what the people expect you to do. Mm. That is what is on their minds. And yet they can't say it. You are the channel through which they expect okay. that these things may be said. And so, you know, when governments become complacent and they take the people for granted, you know, some of these things happen. So it's important for some of us to speak out so that they are kept on their toes mm. and do what is right. Because they are accountable to the people. It is because of the people they are in power. Mm. But mm. often... In African, in Africa, most yeah. governments feel that you know they're they are not serving the people. The people are rather the servants. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what triggered that in you? When did you decide I'm not just going to report the news, but I'll make editorial comments that I that I feel. When well, well one day I I just got up and I I was speaking to my producer, and he said, you know what? I mean, we've been hearing all these excuses. The president says we should not be what spectators we should be citizens. citizens and I said this is the time let's just do it if we are criticized if we are bashed for it it doesn't matter I mm. mean we would have done it and the first time we did it we were a little afraid about the reaction the reaction here yeah. but I mean people received it so well it was like you know they heaved a sigh of relief mm. that you know somebody has to say somebody this. has to say it exactly yeah. so you know and we haven't looked back since then Wow yes and it's making government uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and, 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 you know, but we seem to have in these parts of the world that the role of the journalist is to make government, government as comfortable as possible. Sometimes we even speak, you know. So it's quite uh, interesting when you actually see media mm -hmm. actually confronting and saying these things need to be done. In fact, I've had colleagues in this industry who sort of uh, criticize me and say, oh, well, what are you doing? You know, wow. I mean, it's not going to go far. You yeah. can talk and rant all you like, but yeah. nothing really yeah. is going to happen, yeah. you know. So, yeah. I, I, yeah, it's true. We we have gotten comfortable. We are not, I think, playing our watchdog role mm. Mm. as well as we should be mm -hmm. playing it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's affecting the general populace, mm -hmm. as you can see, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. oftentimes we are the voice for the voiceless. And so if we choose to use our medium for those who are supposed to serve us rather than, you know, the voiceless people. Mm. We're not doing them mm. any good. Mm. How do you good. react to this, though? Because it's so true. For the most part, you know, you talk and talk and talk and talk, and it's like, well, nothing got done. You know, nothing... It, can, no, be, it, that, can, be, it can be so frustrating. For example, the issue of the floods, the rains... You know, uh, we were sitting in the office the other day and we decided, let's go back in time and pull out all the oh. stories we've done about floods. And throughout successive governments, yes. it's the same thing the they same all thing. say. Same yeah. thing they all say. Yeah. And yet you have people dying. Yeah. It's like we don't value the, the yeah. Ghanaian's life. And so, yeah. you know, they come, they say anything, they get away with it. And then, you know, it continues. Yeah. So it can be very frustrating. Sometimes fatigue sets in and you can even close your eyes and just... You know, just rattle off the story without listening to any official or mm, anything because mm. it's become that mm -hmm, mundane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what keeps you going? 
Do you, do you go through fatigue sometimes? Uh, nobody's, nobody's listening anyway, mm -hmm. you know? And that, as like you said, has been going on for a long time. Every year, we know the floods are coming. Every year they will come, and every year we'll say the same thing, and then the floods, and then we stop until the following year. You know, don't you get bent out sometimes? We get, I get bent out. And, you know, I mean, but I, I always look at, what would happen if I decide that not, not doing anything at yeah. all? What's going to happen? So what's the alternative? It's, it's, it's daunting. So I don't yeah. even want to yeah. you know, anticipate that at all. So I, I, I feel like I am doing a job, not just for the people, but maybe God expects me to do something. He's using me uh, as a medium mm. to help uh, mm. the people. And mm. so I, I feel that that's a huge responsibility that I shouldn't give up on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's, what's the backlash like? <laughs> <laughs> I know you say, many people say, oh yeah, somebody's speaking for us, but you do get some massive backlash to her. Huh? Massive, massive. <laughs> of course, the politicians who are uncomfortable with yeah. what I say, because yeah. what happens is that when I criticize them and I put out the facts, their opponents latch on to that yeah. and use that, and you know, use that as a them. weapon. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. During campaigning particularly. So uh, for some of these editorials I've been doing, you'll see some of the NDC uh, 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 executives latching onto it, telling yeah. their people, spread the news, spread the yeah. news. Because obviously it goes against government, yeah. you yeah. know. But, you know, they are virtually the same. They're virtually the same. But that's not going to stop me from, from yeah. talking. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah. I get criticisms from people in government, uh, affiliated to government, mm. saying, you know what, you should back down a little bit. We are trying our best. Mm. But, I mean, mm. if your best is not... Because you did say we shouldn't be spectators, we should be citizens. You did say that you have the men to do the work. So there's a there's huge expectation mm -hmm. of this Very. government particularly. Yeah. You know, yeah. so if that's not being done, that's not being met, people are frustrated. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. And I, I think the best part of all of this is that the president says... Don't be uh, spectators. Spectator. Yeah. Be citizens. <laughs> I truly believe the president appreciates what I'm doing. Yeah. If he really means what he said by don't be a spectator, yeah. be a citizen. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. he does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he's saying, oh, God, why did I say that? <laughs> 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 <What's wrong with laughs> me? I was just kidding around, man. Why are you taking it so serious? No, I haven't said he said that. I'm, I'm <laughs> Afi, you're laughing. What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what he said. What I said. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that was funny. Mm. <laughs> uh, mm. But um, let's talk about other stuff. What do you do to relax? I feel you've been here. I've asked you several times. So I didn't ask you. But what what, to relax? when Araba is not mm. looking for. Do I relax? <laughs> you don't relax? <laughs> well, I mean, if I'm not, you know, my work can be quite daunting. So. I work on weekends as well and sometimes mm. holidays. And so sometimes I don't have a lot of time on my hands to really relax. So usually weekends when I don't work, when I'm off work, I just sleep, read and binge on, you know, uh, a series. No, really? <laughs> exactly. What so, series is your latest binge? Oh, of course. The only one, Game of Thrones. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. But unfortunately, I couldn't watch the, you know, season premiere for season Oh, okay. Eight. Yeah. I mm -hmm. like it when you have the whole, like, six yes. episodes to watch the new page. sit down from... from a friend of mine yeah. tells me that in, during weekends, what he does is he takes a shower in the morning, yeah. you know, buys watchy. Yes. You know, sits there, locks the door so, so that and nobody can just, <laughs> just watch it. <laughs> that, that, that's how I like mine, too. Yeah, you know, just yeah, watch all the fun. way through. It's mm. fun. There's no man in the picture. Well, <laughs> <laughs> there is a man in the picture. There is. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. And, um, but he's a very private person. Very so private person. Yeah. Really? Young person. Very so he will show his picture. You can talk about him so we get, show him some love. He's a very private person. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How does he's a, a young <laughs> entrepreneur who just wants to be in a small corner. Oh, okay. He wants me to be in the limelight. He doesn't want any for himself. He doesn't want it, really. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Does he also get startled sometimes when you when you are hitting hard or he's like yeah. really? Yeah. In fact, yeah. In fact, when I did the piece on the um, maritime authority boss and I was getting hit by a, 
uh, Kennedy Age of Yeah, he hit you, right? Yes. <laughs> what did he say? So, what, 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 what? He said I was a pauper, among other things. I mean, he a was pauper? just a pauper. You know, because I had said that, you know, um, is this the kind of person that we pay our taxpayers' money to, you know? Um, and he took offense. You know, he took offense because apparently the gentleman is a personal friend of his. Okay. Yes. Okay. And he says, well, I mean, the man is paid more than I'm paid, so he must obviously be paying more taxes than I pay. So mm -hmm. I'm a pauper, so <laughs> who am I to come and be talking, you know, yeah. the way I'm talking? So, yeah. but I mean, I understand that these things will come. Yeah. So I'm always prepared for them, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, so. Mm -hmm. And really, I have thick skin. I have a thick skin, so. Criticisms don't really get to me. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. And coming back to his reaction to these criticisms, is he saying go on or lay back? I mean, well, oh, sweetheart, take it easy a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he says take it easy a little bit, yeah. you know, because I mean, he feels for me. Yeah. Um, even yeah. though I'm really, you know, nonchalant when it comes to some of these things, I'll be like, it's expected. So let it ride. And I'm cool. But he's like, yeah. you know what? Maybe you should take it a little easier. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. expected. But the thing is, um, you know, I mean, if the government should change and uh, NDC came or whoever came, you'll be doing the same thing. Exactly. You'll be talking about the issues. Exactly. That's what people don't realize. Exactly. And unfortunately, we make everything partisan. Like you said, you know, the opposition will ride on what you say now mm -hmm. because it's their World Cup season. Isn't it strange, though? Yeah. The opposition always seems to know what the right thing exactly. is. Exactly when they are in opposition yes it seems like they just forget immediately <laughs> they, they get in power yeah. yes it's amazing yeah. and I, I i just can't wrap my mind around yeah. it i had a saying that recently that i thought was really cute somebody on twitter mm -hmm. he says the best politician is the one in opposition exactly <laughs> exactly that yeah is so apt. they know all the right things that is so apt yeah so sometimes i wonder yeah. why can't they do what is right when they get into power when they get the opportunity to yeah. change lives yeah you know but i guess well, Never when they know. get the opportunity to tell lives, they realize there are sweeter things to do. So. Exactly. <laughs> so they change their own lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Barabba, thank you so much, you know. I mean, um, um, honestly, I, I like those in the media who really use the media to speak for the people, you know. And um, there's something that I said some time ago. I don't remember. I said when the government goes... When the government is in bed with the media, they don't screw each other, they screw the people. <laughs> this is wow. X-rated maybe, but... Um, <laughs> 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 That's true, you yes. know. Yes, but so it's very true. It's very, very it's true. very, very true. It's you very know, true. So I think that a lot more of my colleagues ought to take up what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. If there are several Arabs doing Mm -hmm. what I'm doing, mm -hmm. I'm sure that a lot more, the changes will come quicker. Yes. We're seeing yes. change, but it's at such a slow, snail pace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but a lot more people should be doing, should be bold enough to speak truth to power. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. it is. A lot of people should be bold to speak truth to power. Put your hands together. <laughs> and on that note, folks, I've ended a very, very... Amazing time, man, with uh, Araba and Afi, or oh, both A A, you know, yeah. Araba and Afi, and um, Afi, keep doing your stuff. You. Anytime I hear of any course, I'll call you mm -hmm. and have you take over. I promised to call the first, the second lady for her. Pardon? You promised to call the first. I lady. promised to call the second lady. Yes, yeah. and I will. We'll hold you to that promise. You yeah. hold me to that promise. <laughs> <laughs> and when you do meet her, come back and say, yeah, I guess, will. yeah. Yeah, no, she, she's a very, very, very kind-hearted woman. Yeah. I know, you know, I so um, we'll see. Yeah? Okay. Araba, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you, too. It's Kay. a pleasure hosting <laughs> you. Finally! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, stick around. We are hang done hanging out with the ladies. Stick around. We'll be right back. KSM Show.